I am Dr. Kannu Charma Patro. Today, I am going to present about plan evaluation in radiotherapy. From basics to advanced, mostly I will tell about the simple techniques and what is the basics to before the plan evaluation. Just give 5 to 10 minutes. Let other people join. Um, uh, uh, after that, I will start my uh, presentations. After my presentation, I will uh, show you some live cases about uh, uh, plan evaluation, two head and neck cancer patients, one cervix cancer patient. So just wait for uh, five to seven minutes. We'll start soon.
good evening everybody so i okay good evening everybody are apan ये क्यों बताएंगे लिप कम हेलो सलू स्टार्ट हेलो यू कैन स्टार्ट डॉक्टर्स हैव ऑलरेडी ज्वाइन मेनी डॉक्टर्स सो यू कैन स्टार्ट ओके ओके सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल अबाउट प्लान इवैल्यूएशन इन रेडियोथेरेपी दिस इज मोस्टली यूजफुल फॉर द बिगिनर्स फिजिसिस्ट and uh, radiation oncologist and the trainees so if you see the basics of plan evaluation steps first we have to diagnose the treatment uh, tumor uh, diagnose the uh, disease diagnose after diagnosis we have to take the consent then pl plan planning imaging x ray then we have to do x ray ct or mr pet uh, uh, according to the image availability in your setting then volume definition dosimetry calculation plan evaluation the plan verification by x ray simulator or virtual ct treatment delivery verification either treat by mega voltage b image kv image or cone beam ct so before going to the start of the uh, we have to uh, name all organs what about the treatment organs uh, like uh, all uh, or structures we have to name uniformly somebody suppose somebody in his spinal cord somebody is writing sc somebody is writing cord somebody is spinal somebody is writing spinal cord we should we should not do like that we have to uniformly uh, go with a single name so this is the paper uh, you can go through this this paper where uh, um, uh, the normal standardization of the various structures how to write and all these things that's given and here you you can uh, can see here brain stem i underscore left right lens underscore left right lips parotid left underscore left right so there are all things they have given in this uh, uh, paper we can go through it so if you see the first going to the steps of the immobilization if you see these are the various starting from the neck rest to the uh, srs mars to the back logs to the breast board all things are very important which can be reproducible during the treatment and patient should be comfortable so this is called simulation process simulation contains two procedures immobilization and reproducibility so this uh, this thing if it is not reproducible in your treatment room so the there is the no meaning of uh, proper immobilization the proper immobilization is very much important and it should be comfortable to the patient if you see the two errors we found in uh, uh, plan evaluation uh, during treatment one is the systematic error one is the random error in this ra uh, random error if you see as we uh, this very good example i have given here so this is the uh, random error where uh, the, the top picture is the perfect picture left right is the random uh, random error and right one is the systematic error so systematic error Uh, random error is the daily to daily error systematic is the once it, uh, error means it will run throughout the treatment so if you see the gtb ctb itb ptb concept it is uh, all given by icru 50 62 and revised in 83 all you see you see um, uh, gtb ctb this is the uh, ctb is the microscopic volume itb the motion ptb is the setup error and motion so all these things you as you know this is not a uh, big thing uh, uh, you can uh, you will day to day practice you uh, you do all these things so gtb gross target volume ctb clinical target volume uh, ptb planning target volume that is uh, that ptb contains ctb plus internal margin uh, setup margin as like as ors also if you do the ors like spinal cord opticism you can give some what 3 mm margin for the setup and internal margin is known as a prb so one is the ptb another is the prb so if you see the various plans you can see the left top corner is the 3dct right uh, right uh, right top corner is the imrt 7 to 9 field imrt left lower is the um, left lower is the uh, uh, arc either bmart or rapid arc 
and right one is the stereotactic radiotherapy. These are the basic uh, plan, basic plans for the uh, for the uh, during treatment. So if you see every time we see uh, during plan uh, treatment, we have uh, we do those CBCTs or uh, X-ray based X-ray based matching. Uh, so this is the if you see you have to real time we correct every time uh, during the treatment. This is called real time. If you are uh, you, you can uh, plan of the day concept, you can go with if there is a you can plan for two to three PTVs, which is correct. We can treat that day, that is called uh, plan of the day concept. If patient tumor regresses during the treatment, you have to reset, do the reset and the replan. That is, uh, uh, that is the offline correction. So, this is the uh, part of adaptive radiotherapy. So basics of plan evaluation, if you see uh, the 3D versus beamlets, left side is the 3D where uh, the um, all beam is normal intensity, uniform intensity, but IMRT is the different intensity. You can see the each beamlet has a different intensity because of the according to the tumor dimension, tumor thickness and tumor depth. So the, this is the basic difference between a 3D conformal and IMRT plan. So what, another thing is the BV uh, and REB beam side view and room side view. After each plan, you should go for the see the how is the beam, how is the room side view and beam side view. Beam side view can see the exit entry doses, entry points, and uh, even even room side view can how you can see the uh, uh, virtual uh, plan, uh, treatment room where we can see the uh, whether there is a couch hitting or not. So these are the various basics of BEB and REB. All are given in the ICRU. There is another uh, thing is that isocentric versus non-isocentric, where there is no uh, couch movement at all in is the isocentric. Non-isocentric, you can this is the there is a couch movement, or uh, this is the uh, if you more conformally you want, you can do the couch movements. This is the isocentric and non-isocentric. Plan evaluation, uh, sorry, uh, treat, uh, treatment verification, uh, you can do by either 2D verification or 3D verification. In 2D verification, it is X-ray based and um, 3D verification is the CT based, even MRI based in. Uh, so this is the main uh, things what you should understand before going uh, to the uh, plan evaluation. Another thing, you have an extra degree of freedom if you have an extra pod couch or a 6D couch where you can see the roll, pitch, yaw, the movement of various movements of the uh, rotational errors can be corrected if you have a extra pod couch or a 6D couch. If you see another thing, uh, triple F beam and no triple F, uh, non, non triple F. So triple F beam means there is non flattened, uh, no, uh, uh, so triple F beam. Flattening pre filter. Uh, so, if there is no, uh, but uh, if in triple beam, the monitoring are sort of more and time is less. Before going to the contouring um, plan uh, and uh, handing over the volumes to the physicist, you have to review you know, OR structures, accuracy of expansions for any forgotten structure, either prospective ORS, anything has to be uh, cleared and delineated target volume, whether GTV, CTV, PTV have to be controlled. Basically, uh, then you have to give to the physicist the, uh, on the planning system, the notes are available also. You can go and write properly what are the things to you want particularly where something, uh, what is your uh, where constraints or some specific things you want to inform the physicist the to uh, help the planning eval uh, planning you you can give the notes so basic thing uh, we just go before plan, any plan evaluation you go we just go and plan, see the dvhs dvhs is the graphical presentation of your uh, dose um, dose distribution so there are two um, uh, types of graphs dvhs dose volume histogram so dose in the x uh, x uh, x axis and volume in the y axis so there is a differential uh, dvh and cumulative dvh in the mostly you follow we follow the cumulative dvh to evaluation but how it 
depend how it evolved so we can uh, we owes to the uh, 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 he is michael goitin and uh, uh, is the uh, in 19 uh, i think 1980s early 1980s he uh, proposed the uh, dvs uh, parameters and uh, dvs how to do the plan evaluation and you can go his books and uh, uh, you can read his books and uh, he is uh, the michael goitin who proposed the various bv rev uh, dvhs these things um, uh, not uh, na- new it is started from 19 early 1980s given by michael goitin so if you see any dose distribution area if you see in the ct uh, planning these are all uh, um, 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 uh, all are um, um, divided into the pixels that is a 2d voxels is a 3d so in 3d computer graphics a voxel represent the value of regular grid in three dimensional space as well as with the pixel in 2d so it is a smallest volume uh, 3d volume this is the called voxel so if you can see here a voxel represents a value of regular grid in three dimensional space a voxel is a combination of volume and pixel where pixel is a combination of picture and element so each if you take a city scan or city planning in in the planning uh, volume if you divide into the various voxels uh, and pixels and you can see the how much dose distribution in that each pixel it is a unit of the uh, area so uh, uh, it, so this uh, if you take this area into b- part voxels and pixels and automatically you can give, get a here is a differential dvhs so suppose uh, you have taken a um, dose distribution area and you see where is the area getting 2.1 gray 1.1 1.8 gray or some some area is getting 1.5 gray so you can put uh, each voxel is getting how much dose uh, you can make a grid and measure so if you see so there is a, no, if you see the dose in uh, dose in x axis and volume in uh, y axis if you see the uh, grid uh, you will plot the graph so 0 to 1.5 there is no one grid uh, no voxels 1.8 there is around 35 voxels 2 gray it around uh, 18 voxels 2.1 around 26 voxels if you put a graph like this it is a no nothing it is a, it will cause a, a, give you a differential dvs so if you see if you differential dvs 0 to 1.5 gray the count is 0 1.8 gray to 36 2 gray is the 18 voxels 2.1 gray it is 26 voxels total 80 voxels so we have divided our the uh, dose distribution area into 80 voxels and uh, if you plot in the cumulative histogram you can get a graph like this uh, like 1.0 to 1.5 0 so 1.82 1.8 grade is 36 2 grade is 18 2.1 grade 26 total is 80 so it is if you plot like this this is total it is will get a graph it is known as a cumulative dvs so this is a particular uh, picture is uh, known as the cumulative dvs volumes receiving at least given dose value are plotted the cumulative dvs integrates the direct histogram so it is always begins with 100% and uh, it ends at the maximum dose so always at 100% and goes and goes and ends at a maximum dose so for all dvhs this is the uh, graph for target we should we need a, like eight uh, this is the uh, uh, we for this thing our targets we like uh, graph like, we need a graph like this but ors we need a graph like this so this is the this is the um, various the cumulative dvhs for the targets and ors so this if you see the um, how to prescribe record reporting the photon beams either icr report starting from the 29 it's given in 1978 icr report um, uh, the uh, a, a new new one is the icr report 83 in 2010 so if you see this is the uh, distribution of target so this is the uh, d98 this is the d95 98 means dose getting the 98% of the volume d95 means dose getting 95% of the volume d50% means dose getting so that is the called median dose and d2% is the it will tell you about the maximum dose in the area so if you see d50% is the median dose most representative of the prescribed dose d mean is nearly identical to the d50% 
D980% is the nearly minimum dose, dose received by 98% of the PTV. D2% that will tell you about the, what is the near maximum dose. D98% will tell you the near minimum dose. D2% will tell you the near maximum dose. So if you, this is the D98, you can see here, this is the D98 and this is the uh, uh, prescription dose is 70 gray and this is the 98% is the 68 gray. Median dose is the D50% is the 70.67 uh, gray and near maximum dose is the D2, you can see here it is the 72.3 gray. So this is the uh, D2, uh, D2, D98 uh, has to be seen by all GTV, PTV and CTV. So if you see this uh, um, uh, thing, this graph, always we want to put the target uh, in forward and OER graph is backward. So this uh, target and OER uh, pushing uh, forward and backward is our daily um, work. So, uh, uh, but, uh, but all depends upon the uh, site, size and uh, type of target. So, but always DBH is not a sufficient to for the planning evaluation because insensitive to hotspot and cold spot, shape of DBH alone will be misleading. DBH is the most direct and informative representation of treatment plan available. 3D distributions are large and cornersome to analyze the quantitative. User identity uh, interactivity is essential to extract most common information from those. Clinical studies shown that DBH metrics correlate with patient toxicity outcomes. A drawback of DBH methodology is that there is no spatial distribution information. So you only seen, see in the graph method. There is no special uh, uh, method, uh, uh, special distribution you cannot see. Also DBHS from initial radiotherapy plans represent the dose to the structures at the start of radiation treatment. At, as the treatment progresses and time elapses, if there are changes, the original DBS lose, loss, loses its accuracy. So, as, uh, so mostly the, the main drawback of the DBS is the, it is only graphical representation of the, your DBS, but you cannot see the distribution in a uh, special distribution. So this is the various plans and uh, uh, the, the, why I have put here, you have to see all evaluation, plan evaluation, not in a single plane, you have to see in the, this is the axial slice, you have to see in the sagittal slice, you have to see in the coronal slice. All three slices you have to evaluate slice by slice. So this distribution cannot be evaluated in the DVH. Another thing, MLC versus cone. If there is your diameter of the team, like SRS plants, if you're uh, like a one to two centimeter tumors and very circular tumors, you can get good plan with M cones cones, nothing by, uh, it is a uh, fixed collimator, it is a tertiary collimator set, uh, you can attach directly to the uh, machine. But MLC uh, is mostly in the irregular tumors and uh, uh, very um, uh, more than two to three centimeters. So where MLC we can use. Another is called um, uh, remaining volume at risk. So this is the uh, most of the, if you come, uh, no, uh, this is the RVR concept. What you think if you constrict, uh, you tie, uh, you do the tight plan and good conformity index and homogeneity index, most of the low dose is go and is spread out in the remaining part of the uh, outside the target. That is known as a RVR. Another thing is the plus versus bolus. If you sometimes um, um, people are using plus versus bolus. If you have a increase the skin dose, like that in breast cancer patients, if you want to skin dose like in the chest wall. So if you, you can use plus or bolus, plus, if you put a bolus, so there will be less time of treatment and less monitoring units and more less complicated plan. But if you put in the, uh, if you put um, uh, plus, so because it is in the area in calculation, so it take more time and more monitoring units. So bolus is more desirable than plus. So how do uh, there are uh, isodose contours? Uh, you, what is isodose? Isodose is the same uh, uh, doses. If, if you uh, connect all the same dose points, you will get a isodose. 
So this isodose, you can see either form of the isodose contours, color was, or isodose surfaces. It is a isodose color surface is a pseudo 3D. And this is a isodose, uh, uh, isodose color was, this is a isodose contours. So there is a basic plan evaluation uh, in the system. Uh, you can go through this article, how to step by step do the plan evaluation is known as a contours. So first is known as a um, uh, acronym called CBCHOP. What is CBCHOP? C, C means reviewer target volumes and ORs. B, uh, B for beam arrangement, C the appropriate and reasonable. Coverage, C for coverage, evaluate and graphic plan and DVs. Heterogeneity and hotspots value and location. Organs at risk. Review specified constraints, corresponding isodose lines, plans, and DBS prescription. See the total dose, dose per fraction, and image guidance. So, if you follow this uh, five, uh, six steps you know, known as a CB chop, it is published in the Applied Radiation Oncology. You can go through this uh, Meridian article. You can uh, uh, have a more, it is a not very uh, small article, app, article of three pages. You can go through it and you, you will have a good uh, um, knowledge. I have developed this uh, plan evaluation technique with uh, uh, known as a posted index. It is already accepted in the journal and uh, yet to publish. Now, what is the posted index? If you want to go to evaluate one plan, known as a C for coverage index, O for OR index, S for spillage index, I for imaging index, D for delivery index. So this is known as the posted index. Any plan, either 2D, 3D, uh, IMRT, VMAT or SRS plan, if you go step by step from uh, C to D, you uh, most of the things will be getting covered. So you can go through this COSID index and slow, um, ho hopefully by July you will get this paper. So what are the things I have to see in the coverage index? So we are, uh, in coverage index, you have to see the PTV, CTV, GTV. You have to, you don't see along the PTV. Go to the see the GTV first. If GTV is correct, at least you get 99 to 100% uh, coverage to and then go for CTV, then evaluate the PTV. Don't directly see the PTV. So your GTV should be covered well, then CTV should be covered well, then PTV covered well. At, at, at least you see want to see the max dose, you go for D2 and a minimum dose, you can go for D98. So older methods, you can plan for a C95 to 107 uh, coverage. Remember, your GTV, CTV should cover at least 99, 99 or 100, 100. Then uh, either GTV node or GTV primary. So this is what you have to see. This is known as a coverage index. Then, uh, uh, then it is called the OR index. This is course, it, uh, the second uh, uh, icon is OR index. What is OR index? You have to see the all OR structures. If you see is a series organ, you see the maximum dose in series organ or each voxel value, voxel value that is 0.03. CC. So that is the maximum dose. Mean dose in parallel organs and volumetric analysis like long, uh, um, uh, long, uh, long, uh, long, uh, long, uh, normal long doses. You can see uh, V20, V5. So in this case, is volumetric analysis. So in series organs, see the maximum dose, but better to see 0 0.03 CC because it is one voxel value. Mean dose in parallel organs like liver, kidney, you see the mean dose volumetric analysis in various other structures. Then spillage index. So how your look, though it is confined to the, your tumor, PTV, CTV, GTV, but how it is, how much conformity inside the, your PTV. So it, your 100% uh, of the coverage, it should not spill outside. So that is how much confined to your PTV, it is known as a conformity index. Homogeneity index, how much homogeneous? Some, if you go to the uh, your PTV coverage, sometimes uh, somewhere it is 110, sometimes even 109, sometimes uh, somewhere it is 106, sometimes 105, sometimes 100, and somewhere is it 95. So it is not a homogeneous. So more homogeneous in, uh, seen in uh, during non-SRS or SVRT plans. And SRS and SVRT plans, we mostly see uh, uh, more heterogeneous uh, uh, dose distribution. Gradient index, so gradient index, we have to see outside the PTV. That is uh, uh, how much dose is going to spill in the normal um, uh, structures who, what we didn't compute or don't 
defined. So this gradient index in the mostly very important when during your no, SRS and SRT plan. Then imaging index in imaging index if you see the axial view, coronal view, and sagittal view. Each image, each slice, each view has to be scrolled. How each slice has to be analyzed properly to see how whether there is an underdose or high high dose. You have to define the uh, either hundred percent or ninety percent. See any any area. Use image all slice by slice and image by image in coronal, axial, and sagittal. You have to see. Then basic. Uh, then this is the deliver index. What is the last index? If you have a two three plans. how to evaluate the uh, plan so if you two plans are similar in the uh, in the distribution wise where distribution and uh, ptb distribution you have to see what are uh, how can you uh, choose which plan is better see the complexity of plan so suppose there is a two imrt plans one imrt plan is nine beams another imrt is seven beams and both are distributions are same then choose a seven beam plan one second thing complexity of delivery that is the isocentric technique non isocentric technique you see which isocentric technique is better uh, isocentric techniques are more better if non isocentric technique if the same distribution and oer coverage are giving by one plan two plans then choose non isocentric technique mu and timing if there is a uh, monitoring it how much timing and uh, everything you have to see this is the delivery index so this is the Uh, you can remember as a quotient index for the beginners. It is very useful. They can step by step. They can evaluate the plan, uh, and they can follow this uh, paper. Suppose uh, you can see in the example here uh, how this is the uh, brain mat as uh, cavity SRS. We can see the distribution here. You have to PTB coverage index. You have to see. What is the maximum dose? What is the ninety-five percent of the iso dose? What is the hundred percent? So each you have to you have to maintain a table and see the coverages. Then how to calculate the coverage index? So uh, coverage index RTOG confirm uh, sorry confirmate index. So confirm uh, confirm index. Uh, this is the various confirm index. Uh, um, um, uh, indexes are given by various formula. It is a desirable one. Desired level should be one, and you can go the um, 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 <coughs> you can go the uh, these articles, and you can calculate your confirmation index. It it is given. Uh, it is automatically can can be calculated in the planning system, and you can go through the. I will show you in the later part. Then is the confirmation index. Another that is known as a party confirmation index. The volume volume of prescription isotopes in area of interest. Uh, um, uh, square by PTB volume and volume of prescription isotopes. So you can do this. Uh, no need to go for the every calculating the confirmation index in each plan. It is given already. It is inbuilt by default. Uh, it is a, you can show in the um, DBS statistics table in the uh, um, uh, Monaco and area planning system. Like that, homogeneous index. Also, you can see this is the formula by maximum dose by prescription isotopes. Uh, it's mostly it is nearly one. It is better in the uh, IMRT 3D CT plans, but not in the SRS plans because SRS plans we need more heterogeneity of the plan, and we can go for 1.3, 1.2 like that. Those follow up also very important uh, uh, in the SRS plans and SRT plans where your dose should fall abruptly in uh, not like brachytherapy. But you should uh, so they they have given a various formulas. So how to calculate? So the you have to calculate the equivalent square. What is the equivalent square? So you have to uh, draw a uh, auto contour, do a seventy percent isodose distribution, uh, then eighty percent isodose distribution, then sixty percent isodose distribution. You have to take a uh, you have to take a um, um, volumes. And you just calculate the volume by, and you can calculate the radius. So this is the uh, because no no uh, isodose is the isospherical. So you have to take it from the sphere to volume. Uh, with the volume calculation, then you can calculate the radius. So suppose this hundred percent isodose volume is forty three point seventy nine cc. 
79 cc the radius is 2.19 like that you can calculate the all isodose volumes then isodose radiuses so you can spear formula is there you can go ahead with so what is the gradient index gradient index we usually follow uh, between 0.3 to 0.9 by uh, this is the difference of equivalent radius of prescription isotopes and equivalent radius of 50% isotopes. So this is the um, formula we follow mostly in the stereotactic technique. So this is the called as a gradient index. So gradient index is mostly useful for the SRS and SRT planning. And again, we have to see more and more uh, dose gradient by 80% and 60% isotopes should be less than 2 mm between the 80% to 40%, you can see uh, less than 80 mm. So these are the things we can go ahead and see in the each and every plan of SRS. So this is the thing we, we can calculate. This is the gray, uh, dark green is the 100%, then light green is the 80%, sky green is the 60%, pink is the 40%, 50%, and blue is the 40%. So we this in this stereotactic technique, we have to see what is the difference between the all isodose lines. From that, we have to see the what is the dose distribution to the various uh, vital structures from starting from the eye, optic nerve, optic chasm in the if you are planning for a brain or a head and neck, and what is the your desirable and what is the achieved. Sometimes we are not able to achieve the plans what we require. Uh, sometimes we don't uh, able to get the full coverage in the PTV. So if, if suppose in this plan, if you see this is your PTV, where this is a blue structure. PTV and uh, this is the OR structure. So you should do a secondary volume here in the junction of PTV and the vital organs where you can accept some underdose in these areas. So this is called uh, junctional volume and the uh, in uh, the tumors are close, very close to the uh, eye and optic nerve. You can plan some eye, uh, some sub volumes to uh, decrease the uh, um, dose to that uh, uh, vital structures. Another thing, we have to see the low dose bath. As a 3D CRT, it is, we will, will not find much low dose area, but in IMRT and uh, 3D CA, uh, IMRT, ARC plan and other things, you will have a lots of low dose uh, spillage around the, uh, beyond the target. So this low dose spillage, you have to try to keep it minimum and uh, we have to uh, request the physicist to uh, do the load, uh, decrease the load spillage. So if you see the beam arrangements, you have to see uh, number of fields, number of arcs, patient movement, internal organ motion, everything you have to see during your plan evaluation. Uh, what is the treatment time and uh, what is the patient movement, internal organ motion. So these things you have to see. If you see, this is the uh, uh, rapid arc, single arc, plan what is the 496 mu you can see the good coverage here left side right side not my, uh, very low dose villages are there because it is not an arc plan and monitoring units are very high so definitely rapid arc things are is, uh, looks better than this conventional imrt plan another thing uh, you have to see what is the entry point what is the exit point of the beam if you see this patient uh, entry point is from the anterior uh, vertex and whether it is going to like uh, a patient you are treating a brain tumor, it should not go, the exit beam should not go to the oral cavity, it should not go to the thyroid. So you have to arrange your beams accordingly. So always see the entry point and exit point of the tumors, uh, beams. Here we can see one, one uh, two plans, where the red one is the one, um, uh, the two plans with uh, red plan, uh, red, red one is the one, uh, plan one, red, green one is the plan two. Though here green one is looks better OR coverage, but at the end of the curve, if you see in low dose spill is more in the low um, letter part. So, but increase the correspondence to, oh, sorry, hot spot is the mostly in the uh, posterior fossa. So though green one is looks better, but hot spots in the posterior fossa is high in the green one. So in corresponding to this comparison, uh, red one looks better. So uh, only thinking uh, this will give the, uh, this will, uh, this all things will be given by the DVSS, but it is a misleading. So always you have to see slice by slice and all views. If you want to don't to miss uh, you, if you don't want to miss anything or something you always have a checklist 
what checklist you have to do you do every pla every site you go for a target work coverage and oer coverage and if you see the checklist here always put a slum paper or something where a gtb primary gtb node ctb coverage ptb coverage you see the d2 d19 coverage axial sagittal coronal anything you just tick it and it will be it will it will be help uh, helping you to guide and not missing anything like that uh, what are the oer coverages you can set him on the uh, it is a, just i have a given an example of head and neck and brain tumor uh, treatment plan so you can go for the optic ism or optic nerves like that what are your limit what is your phase one plan what is the phase two plan what is your uh, total coverages you can compare with or uh, with your limitations and you can see the variations what is the variations is there if some patient comes with some toxicity how much variation you have gone you can um, um, either either in the form of soft copy or hard copy you can store it and uh, evaluate later part of the patient follow so uh, very simple train your brain to decrease the doses to the or but not at the cost of ptb don't go beyond limit or coverages but or uh, tolerances but uh, sometimes don't over enthusiastic yourself do to decrease the dose to the ptb uh, to the ors you under uh, get a plan with under coverage to the ptb take care of ors otherwise uh, rare will not be rare so don't go beyond uh, um, or coverage but sometimes sometimes if a patient is a aggressive tumor like a glioblastoma multiforme where patient is not going to survive you can accept uh, some variations slightly or high doses you can accept so like that you have to uh, judge yourself and uh, over the day to day practice you can do that uh, um, and uh, restrain yourself giving strict constraint otherwise tumor will sustain so if don't give extreme constraint to the uh, otherwise you are going to underdose your uh, ptb and uh, tumor uh, there be high chance of tumor uh, sustain this is uh, all about my presentations uh, uh, i will uh, go uh, going to tell about some uh, uh, planning uh, uh, planning uh, 2d plan and uh, sorry 3d plan and imrt plan and uh, after that i will close here see uh, here one i one plan i want to see here so it is a ca cervix plan where you can see there is a distribution of the tumor dose distribution in a ca cervix four field technique here if you see uh, this uh, uh, this isodose coverage is just 70% so but uh, it is coverage adequately around the uh, tum your uh, nodal area uh, and uh, tumor area But, and you can see the spillages here spillages here so this is just 70% of uh, uh, spill here but remember there is no 70% spill in the anterior part of the uh, abdomen so patient will not have a much loose motion here i have just one plan i am going to show you here you can see the 70% distribution is anteriorly and mostly this patient will have a loose motion who should not receive this uh, we should not do plans like this so this uh, uh, 70% distribution is anteriorly it is going to give you uh, um, uh, so uh, this is the so more large number of bowel is getting around the 70% of the dose but you have to see the this plan where 70% is hardly getting in the uh, uh, anterior abdominal area so, so even very simple 3d techno techniques also you can um, uh, titrate your dose anteriorly posteriorly laterally and you discuss with your physicist they are very uh, they will guide you properly so don't accept uh, low dose uh, spillage in the anterior part of the abdomen you can accept some sort of spillage in the lateral part of the abdomen where uh muscles and bones will be there but don't accept uh, patient will have a lots of acute toxicities and lot of uh, treatment interruptions and uh, um, problems
So I'm seeing another uh, uh, thing, uh, another planning. You have any questions? How, uh, 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 sir, doctors are posting the queries in the chat section. Okay, okay, no problem. I will go their uh, things uh, after my presentation. Okay, sir, and also in the QNL section. Okay, okay. That system here. This one, this system. Ah. If you are logging there, Can I help you? No, it was opened here only. You know, it's a registration. Ah, no, no, no. It's Monaco. Monaco, this one. You know, ah. Oh, it may need to hear. Nietzsche? Oh, to find out that. No, if I take, if I go there and take it, no. How to do this? Already opened there, actually. If I minimize, what will happen? This is? Minimize. What is this? Hey, that is a registration. No. Stop setting up there. Stop, stop. Huh? Mm -hmm. You are not able to see. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, shall we close this? No, nah, close this. Exit. Huh? Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so <clears throat> this is a uh, this is a patient up for uh, my, my, uh, nasal cavity and um, uh, ethmoidal sinus it is going to the orbital cavity and patient is a loss of all uh, vision in the right eye so if you can see this plan here after the contour giving the PTV, we want to decrease the dose to the uh, midline structures. So they, uh, so there, if there is a decrease the dose to the midline structures, patient will not have a much dysphagia. So uh, we have to do extra structures here. You can do the plan evaluation and everything. I will go by step by step how to do a plan evaluation in this patient. So if you see, as I told, you see the COSID index. COSID index is the coverage index. So what you have to see, GTV primary. You can see here GTV primary. You can see the reference volume around D9, uh, D98, 98% of the volume getting how much. So at least it is getting around, I am a, my prescription dose is a 50 grade. So there is no underdose in this area and mostly most of the areas getting uh, there. Then you go to the GTV node, nodal area, how much it is getting like that. You can see uh, even 90, 100% is getting we are nearly 100%. So if you put it in 98, how much dose is getting here, you can see here. So first you have to see the GTV, primary GTV node, then go to the CTV. Then see the CTV, don't directly jump to the PTV. As we see, as we saw, we have evaluated the CTV, the GTV first, 
then we will go to the ctv you can see the 98 percent how much it is getting around 40, uh, nine, uh, around uh, 40 uh, 98 percent around getting 95 percent or 97 percent you can get, see here 98 uh, roughly 97 98 percent getting like that ctv 50 uh, you can see here 98 So, so you can you should not uh, accept a dose GTV to node or GTV primary below hundred percent. You can accept ninety five to one zero seven percent in CTV and PTV. Then you can see here. Uh, then see the PTV coverages. PTV coverages you can see uh, ninety five uh, slightly less because it is near to the eye. As I told. If the uh, slightly we have to under under dose that uh, junction area to decrease the dose to the optic nerve. So this is the uh, the first step. Is we have seen the uh, concept of COSID coverage index. See the GTV, see the CTV, see the PTV. Never on um, accept the plan where GTV is getting less dose or node is getting less dose below 100 percent. Then we have to see OR index. OR index. What I have to see? Suppose cord. Cord here is getting the maximum dose 33.75 gray, but we should not see uh, maximum dose. We have to see 0 0.03. So 0 0.03, it is getting 33.44 gray. So because it is a voxel size, so inside each voxel, you have to see the size. Then brain stem, again, you have to see series organs 0 0.03. You can see here. 34.67 then parotid left and right you can see the minimum dose mean doses here the here we can uh, because of the adjacent nodes we are not al uh, allowed to um, uh, decrease the dose to the parotid left and right. like that uh, left eye and right eye you can see the mean doses and maximum doses then left optic nerve you, again we have to see 0 0.03 uh, you can see and uh, left optic nerve optic chiasm again 0 0.03 so it is a 47 uh, gray. So like that and cochlear uh, right and left, uh, that is the mean dose usually should 44 gray. It is 8, 9, 29 to 35. Then this is the uh, how you see the coverage index and OR index. Then uh, uh, called as a spillage index. Then how to do the spillage index? Uh, so how to spill, uh, what is the spillage index? Again, if you go to the DVH statistics, you can see here, you can see here confirming index, heterogeneity index, you can, it is automatically given by default. So if you see the last is the PTV 50 coverage, you can see the homogeneity index, heterogeneity is 1.12. So this is the uh, formula already inbuilt in the system and you can go for the conference index and uh, homogeneity index it is inbuilt you no need to calculate every time so this is the um, uh, confirm index and heterogeneity another is the spillage index spillage index is nothing how to see the load of spill usually we see 70 percent or 50 percent spillage outside the uh, coverage if you see this is the uh, lighter green uh, green outside the ptv it is not spilling much beyond the coverage. So we have to see the load of spills. It should not be there because we have given a constraint here. You can see the 70% the, the also not much, not going to the long, uh, long part or the muscular muscular area and not in the even midline structures. So even it is very good plan and midline uh, also less than 70% of the dose. So patient will not have a much dysphagia. After giving this midline constraints, we have a very less than very minimal cases of aspiration in our department, and we no need to admit also when there is a dysphagia at all. So these are the systems low volume distributions we have to see. This is called a spillage index. Then posted index spillage. Then imaging index. Imaging index. What do you have to see? You have to see imaging index first. You have to see x. Uh, you of this. Is So you see here, image by image, image by image, you see it in Excel view. You see any underdose area or high dose area in the 
city uh, sorry ma uh, in planning you can see this is your gtb there is no underdose area it is mostly covered by 95 to 100% this area there is no underdose you, you have seen in the um, gym, uh, uh, excel view now you go to the coronal uh, coronal view again you go by coronal view again you see any anything any structure any area is underdosed or i dosed we have given a high dose area to distribution uh, that is called uh, red there is no red points anywhere and uh, if you see there is a blue area where is the less dose there is no blue area in in this area so you have to go by image by image this is called uh, imaging index now we will go by sagittal section same thing we have to see where is the where there is the under rose area and everything we can see here there is no hot spots no red spots no blue spots in this uh, area so this is the called uh, imaging index so the uh, last is the delivery index you can see uh, the uh, um, um, what is the delivery index you can see the beams uh, beam visibility how the it is a arc plan how it is going actually if you see that is a it is a full arc but uh, I, I would have uh, because this i uh, we can uh, there is a, uh, some i usually avoid anterior arcs but it is a tumor is covering those why you have taken it is a full arc so this is these things what is the beam arrangement what is the bv and rev uh, we can see here and you can calculate what is the your both uh, structures So this is the things uh, I have to, uh, this is the plan here, uh, we can show um, uh, how we, uh, we um, this is the, um, how to evaluate step by step, like uh, as I told, proceed index, see the coverage, see the next step, see the OR, then, then see the spillage, then show the imaging index, then D for delivery index. So these five things, if you follow directly, step by step, you will have a hardly have a chance to miss in the target. So I'm closing this plan again. So uh, So this is all my uh, presentation in during plan evaluation. You can ask the questions uh, 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 by uh, you can directly uh, you can allow them to ask questions or I will uh, answer some uh, chat box. Okay. Yeah. Is a imaging index is a qualitatively or a quantitatively? It is a mostly is a qualitatively approach, not is a quantitatively approach. So you have to in imaging as a index, you have to go by slice, side by slice by slice and in all coronal, sagittal, and axial views. How do you build the brachytherapy in CS cervix? So uh, um, if I possible, I will uh, take a uh, other day, uh, not uh, because it will take an, uh, another one hour class. Is 3D CRT cannot spare any organs, but can George according to the beam planning as we do in 2D? Yes, yes. So we can just uh, we can um, also do the DVHS evaluations. We can do same thing in 3D CRT also. What are the parameters need to be evaluated during plan evaluation? SRS, SRT, neuro-oncology cases. Okay. So neuro-oncology cases. Uh, I, I I will show you one thing. So the, you can see here, uh, we have a uh, uh, plan for all SRS plan. We follow this Excel sheet. In Excel sheet, what are the conformity index? What is the emergent index? What is the equivalent square? What is the things? You just put the PTB volume and everything. And what is the tolerances? It is a already inbuilt formulas. It is there. It is a, uh, we have made this table, uh, Excel sheet. 
and these are these various uh, things we follow maximum dose confirmed index heterogeneity index gradient index di dose distributions everything you just put the values and you will get the answer what is homogeneity index and everything so if, if you uh, suppose i have changing here this you can see the year formula i am changing so if you uh, the, these are the all things you can you see i i am changing one value here you can see, see all changes in various places so this is so, the uh, sorry for hmm. the interruption i can uh -huh. see attendees doctors have raised their hands so if you want uh -huh. to communicate with them please tell uh -huh. me i can uh, allow them for the talk okay sir okay madam okay, okay. thank you uh, but for thank... that the attending doctor has to raise the hand there okay. is an option okay. raise your hand you have to click on that after that i can allow you to talk okay sir okay ma'am okay ma'am thank you sir. so this is the srs excel uh, sheet and excel formula sheet we usually follow in our institution it is developed by our physicists and uh, you just put the formulas dose distribution ptv volume and everything you will get the all confirmed index no need to calculate every time and we are storing uh, for the long run evaluation so if anybody interested i can share our this excel sheet formula you just write to me by email i will uh, love to share this thing Uh, so somebody is asked uh, how does the spillage dose how much spillage acceptable in iomt so there is no guideline spillage index but we just see whether 70% or 60% should not go outside the minimum uh, like tail or tongue type distribution what is the practical coverage of ipsilateral long in post mastectomy radiotherapy so that is the 2020 uh, but uh, sometimes we go by uh, b20 uh, is usually we sometimes you go 30 uh, any other questions i will love to answer if anybody has answer hey, madam if somebody is raising their hand uh, please uh, um, let me know i i will answer yes sir uh, two doctors dr srinija and dr sumit singh has raised their hand so i am allowing one by one doctor I am uh, first allowing Dr. Srinija Yallagara. Uh, I think he is to unmute. Yes, ma'am. Please unmute yourself and you can ask your query to sir. I, have, I am sending the request for unmute. Ma'am, you can unmute yourself. Okay, I think. Uh... Uh, okay, sir. Moving to forward to our next uh, doctor, that is Dr. Sumit Singh. I'm allowing Dr. Sumit Singh, sir. Please unmute yourself so that you can have a discussion with Dr. Patro. Okay, then uh, there are two questions in the chat box. Uh, I can answer these questions. Uh, Dr. Uh, Mesram, uh, he asked why reference volume 0 0.03 in serial organs? Uh, because uh, this is the voxel size. So uh, we cannot, in, in the voxel, it is the distro, we have to, uh, this is the voxel size we have to take as a 0 0.03. So what do the normalization when the student normalized the target mean when the normalized to ISO center? So this is the mostly to the physics question. Uh, what should be the consider ice is a serial so i serial and uh, parallel so i is a structure where every structure has a different constraints so it may uh, i usually we see the mean dose as well as the maximal dose so uh, the uh, uh, cochlea we see the mean dose only uh, Srino? Oh. Somebody asked you what, how to do normalization, when should you normalize to target mean or when to normalize the ice number? In a ah. Here, no need of normalization. Ah. Ah. So, if you want to normalize, see, there are different, in rest, particularly in particularly rest station, ah. we have rest different rest, rest, rest station. Is it whole? No need of non in 3D, ah, 3D, you have to defend any point like isocenter or you if your isocenter is blocked by your MLC, then you have to normalize to any DP uh, dose description point. You can create in the open area, center of the open area, you can create any point, you can normalize to that particular point in 3D. Okay, so in 3D, practically, you have a uh, uh, MU mo mode also, 
So for example, your ISO center is already blocked. So you can play with MU. Either you can prescribe the dose to your ISO center or any uh, prescription point, or when your prescription point or dose point is blocked by your uh, MLCs or anything. So you can play with MUs. So even if you block your uh, dose prescription point, still you can see the dose distribution. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, any other questions I can take, uh, love to take, uh, just uh, or we can uh, end the meeting. Uh, sir, oh, there are also questions question. in the Q&A box also. Uh, I have already answered that one. Those okay, ones. sir. Okay. So, uh, my email is uh, I have uh, in chat box, I wrote my email or you can WhatsApp me so that I can share the Excel sheet. Uh, Actually, you uh, WhatsApp me your your detail about send the Excel sheet. You can I will send the Excel sheet in your WhatsApp chat box. Any other questions? Uh, you can uh, write in chat box or we'll close the session. Amem, uh, uh, we will get the recorded video. Sure, sir. You will definitely get the recorded video. Okay, okay. Then I will uh, upload in the YouTube. Okay. So thank you uh, very much, um, uh, Plum, the clarinet and uh, Nishita, madam. So thank you uh, all. About, it is a good platform uh, to uh, present and communicate with the various uh, uh, doctors and uh, growing doctors, upcoming doctors, budding doctors. Uh, I appreciate uh, the clarinet that uh, giving the platform and thank you very much, madam and uh, we can uh, close the meeting and uh, if possible next every month uh, 30 or 30th first i will take a class uh, mm -hmm. if you say share your money share your platform i will be happy thank you so much sir it is really a wonderful session thank you so much so with your permission we are closing here it for now okay ma'am thank you thank you thank you everyone